My dear sisters and brothers, look at the attitude of Herod. John, he knew he was a man of God. And what John spoke was the truth. He liked to hear him because he was a just man. He spoke the word of God, but it pained him because he was not living by the word of God. And it was his wife, brother's wife, Philip's wife, that he had taken as his wife. So all the more, this was not right. And John told him straight about it. You're sinning. And so you see, when our sins are exposed to us, what is our reaction? We try to eliminate that person. And so what are we doing? We are guarding sin. We are letting sin reign in us. But we don't know how it is bringing us death. It is bringing us death. That means we are no longer living with God justly, honestly. And if you look around, this is what is happening in our world today. And it has kept on multiplying. Even all of us here, none of us like to be told that what I have done is not right. We will defend it. We will put the others out, down, whatever. We'll say, I'll give him more. But Ari, you're not looking at what you're doing. What you're doing is not right. So why are you defending it? This is what happens to us. We will take away the truth and we will live with falsehood. And that is what death. But Jesus, in the acclamation, has said, Our Lord Jesus Christ has abolished death. This dying of us, he has abolished it and he has given us life and he is the life. We need to live with him. When we live with him, then you will have the experience of the fullness of life. Otherwise, in our body, mind and spirit, this is given to us and we are residing still deep inside. Our real self is deep inside. That self, it can be aligned to God or it can be aligned to self. And if you are aligned to self, this is what you'll do, the ways of the world. And you will not keep God's commandment and you will not like anyone to tell you that you're not keeping them. You will try to eliminate them so that you can continue in your sin. And what will sin do you do to you? It will destroy you. That is what evil is doing to us. It is destroying us by enticing us. And we are not able to see. Having eyes, you do not see. Having ears, you do not hear. We are all listening. But what are we going to do from now on? How long have I been telling you what Jesus has been telling us? Remain in me as I remain in you. Ah, we have heard it. I remain in him. I am a Christian. Not enough. A lot of our Christians are doing things which are not Christian. And you call yourself a Christian? That's what exactly is happening. So my dear sisters and brothers, we must be very humble, knowing that we are all sinners and we need constantly God's help. And that's why we come here for Mass. Why do we come? So that from inside us, Jesus who is residing deep inside us will help us to live the way we should live as children of God. And yet when we receive him, we are looking here, looking there. As soon as you receive communion, you should be by nature deep down with Jesus. Every time I have to remind you. Why are there no convictions in us? Why do you come for Mass if not to receive Jesus in your heart so that at the deeper level you can be united to Him and not to yourself? He's coming as food for us for living with Him. And we just don't care about it. No, that should not happen to us from now on. If there is some conviction, 
If you can see what I'm saying, then you will start living. I don't have to tell this to you a hundred times. Once it is told, you're convinced about it. That's what should happen to us. If we are not getting convinced, then we are living shallowly inside. We do not know who we are all the time. There is no grounding in us. We are not rooted in ourselves. We are living in our thoughts or in our feelings. Today they change, tomorrow they are nothing, is different else. That's what is happening. Building ourselves on sand and not on the rock who is Jesus within us. Let us not be uh, afraid to do this. The grace is given to us as we have meditated upon the saints. How they give themselves. They had this conviction that they will stand by Jesus. Even if others eliminate me, they will only eliminate my body but not my mind and my spirit. And that kind of conviction we should have. Let us now place our hands like this in our lap, keep our back straight, close our eyes, and be present to Jesus. He is always with us. At every breath, He fills us from our toes to our head with His presence, with His goodness, with His holiness. And let us empty all that is not of him at our body, mind and spirit level as we breathe out, emptying it in his name so that in his name the demons will flee it is, as it is told to us in the scriptures. At his name we will be purified. Our Lord Jesus Christ abolished death and brought life through the gospel, through his word. Lord, we thank you that you have enlightened our minds, but we ask you and beg of you for the courage to stand by you, so that not we, you will stand through us in all times of danger, of persecution, of temptations. Thank you, Lord, that you have given us this gift. We want to offer you our weakness, our instability, our lack of convictions, so that you will bless us.